it's no longer news that Adobe has finally acquired Algorithmic. The guys that are responsible for Substance Painter, Substance Designer, and also the bitmap to material. This has also created a lot of news, traffic, and debate about if Adobe is going to be able to keep up with this too what's going to happen to our present license what's happening with our form uh, with our licensing you know all of those fun stuff that people like to talk about especially when it comes to dealing with money and adobe has particularly not have a very good track record with keeping apps mixamo for example and also we've also seen so many apps that have actually come into adobe and actually strive I think Flash has actually come into Adobe and Strive for a while. I don't really know if a lot of people still use the Adobe XD. I don't know if people still use the Animate. These are tools that I don't really think that people use so much. Maybe because I don't particularly use them. But then Adobe has been known for subscription and with them purchasing Substance, I mean, uh, Allometric, it simply means that Substance Designer Painter and all the other fun stuff that comes with uh, the Allometric guys will probably end up being things that we would have as subscription base this is highly debatable we don't know what those things are right now and that is why i'm talking to you guys about a new tool which i found on the internet it is presently in its beta it's called paint cube and with what i'm seeing i think this tool may replace your substance painter okay this tool will probably replace your Substance Painter. And so what this tool is, it's a web-based 3D painting software. A 3D painting software that gives you the stamp feature, the uh, project feature, gives you layers, paint, and also an eyedropper. And another cool thing is this tool actually renders in some sort of PBR form. So it simply means that the same uh, things that you can do with your Substance Painter, you can directly do them here without having to own a beastie computer so how do you get to make use of this tool there's just so many fun stuff that you can do with this for now and since it's in its present beta it simply means that uh maybe most things are going to come up with it as it is currently worked on and one interface that this simply strikes and reminds me of is the early days of substance painter we all know how uh simple and not so complex substance painter looks like in the early days and you know it reminds me of this and we'll get right into this tool and you're going to see how it works so how do you get to this tool first of all you need to come register and then you know launch the tool the pricing for this tool is relatively cheap which simply means that first of all you get a beta version that is free for at least 14 days so you have to try this thing for 14 days before you can be able to pay for it if you like the software then you can pay seven dollar for a month which is amazing and also if you want to pay for one year you can pay fifty dollars and you can upgrade and it simply gives you some extra uh support like you can find here you get uh support for future development and all that and you don't have texture restriction when you pay for this too and another thing i would like to uh, also make mention of is this presently supports you to import obj and also fbx into the tool then you can directly paint on top of it so without further talk let's get into this tool and let me show you how you can make use of it so i have a small model here i have a tool here which has been made possible from the guys at uh, zwrap and if you install zwrap by default you can just simply come over to your zbrush plugin and go over to zwrap and you know you can you play with it or definitely if you have zwrap installed you can come over to your lightbox and within your lightbox you're going to be able to find zwrap uh living somewhere here and that was where i got this uh demo head which we're going to play with and now i exported this demo head in as an fbx file and also as an obj file just to test if we can be able to import those and yes you can import both of them and once you uh, register you can go ahead and open up the app here you know launch into it and then you can see everything that you need to work with so the first things they are going to tell you once you register and open up this app is the shortcut keys that you'll be able to make use of and i like the fact that it still maintains the industry standard to um, shortcuts which i prefer a lot since you just need to hold alt and middle mouse left click and also right mouse button stuff another thing to keep in mind is that this tool actually runs on chrome so if you have any browser that has a chrome framework or maybe you have google chrome itself then definitely you can make use of this tool to work as well 
just before we start let me show you how you can import your stuff to import your stuff you definitely have to click here to import your model and then you click here to export your model material if you want to change your stamp or maybe your projection you can also use the image part here to change the stamp or the image projection the same thing happens here as well and once you close that uh, tiny window you get to find this torus that you can use to play around and you know you can just simply use this to play around and also see how it works i'm going to go ahead and simply use my tab now and just paint around and see it's a bit laggy not so i think maybe it's the internet or something but for now i think it's just a tiny bit laggy i think that's why it's still in the beta but definitely once this tool comes out i probably think it may replace a lot of um 3d painting apps for artists knowing fully well that you don't really need to get a very big uh, computer or you, you don't need to get a big hardware for you to be able to make use of this okay so let's move on to something that is a little bit more complex we'll go over to this um other tool that i have added up earlier the one which i showed you from the zbrush so we can just simply uh, drag this tool down and let's scroll all the way in to drag it about this point and then rotate it so if you want to do your, your, your basic painting you can go ahead and just do your basic painting you can go ahead and do your basic painting and you can undo directly from here for now it doesn't support your keyboard shortcuts you can also turn up your environment just in case you want to see your environment something that we've all used in substance painter you can also blur your environment something that also exists in substance painter as well you can turn this off let's go ahead and close this and also you can change your environment if you want to just something to keep in mind this is your stamp brush so by default you have like this potato stamp and you can come through and reduce the stamp size you can also rotate the stamp okay and let's just drop it down a little bit there there you go and then for some weird reason once the stamp size is too low i notice that it starts painting automatically but once i increase the stamp size and undo this you see i can now just paint so i think this is a tiny bug that exists with this app and i guess probably over time they're going to be able to fix it okay so we can just stamp here stamp there and let's just undo this for good measures one other thing which i uh, i i think i've come to notice is for some reason the undo button doesn't really work most times like now i have this patch here trying to get this out and so you see it doesn't go out and i again i can simply come through just like you do in your photoshop and all that you can create multiple la layers the same way you can create multiple layers in substance painter that's how you can come through and create multiple layers you can also create your metallic layers your normal layers your uh, bump map layers your roughness layers and all that fun stuff other things that you can do here is since we've looked at the stamp projection is something that is very particular and a lot of people get to use it so you can also come through and also project certain stuff directly on your model so let's say we want to paint across this we can come through paint across we can also uh, just hold down the middle mouse button and zoom in a little bit and let's just rotate this a little bit and you know just come through and paint one thing which i wish that this tool should have later once it's done is a symmetry tool i don't like the fact that you know you have to paint one part and then go back and paint another part uh, that's another, that's something i don't really enjoy playing with a lot i'm going to go ahead and use the eraser brush to simply just clean this up and there you go so very simple basic stuff that you can do with this thing and you know probably it gets the job done especially if you're an indie artist or maybe a very small scale artist you you just need uh things that wouldn't cost you so much and still get the job done and particularly for the fact that this is uh web-based i think it would uh, do a lot more if this app is complete and available for everyone to use so i'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below you can go ahead and try this app for 14 days see what it looks like play with it try one of your projects and see how it goes for you and i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below would you switch 
from using substance just in case the licensing becomes a burden to you later in time to use this app once it's readily available or would you still stick with substance i don't know what you guys think i want to know what you think in the comment section below put those thoughts there and until i see you guys next time with more updates peace